just uh, getting started today, ready to edit the video, ready to go. Getting uh, started a little bit late, it's about 1.30, but that edit took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I really like it. So, uh, it's probably one of my favorite videos. So check out yesterday's video. Take day started, uh, I'm definitely going to start with checking on the girls, uh, see if there's any difference in her uh, from today to yesterday. Probably not any difference yet, but still want to check it out. So you can barely see, but I can see from this angle that obviously she still has a bunch of swelling on her lip there. So I'm just going to leave her alone. The fact is that when an animal's sick, the more you stress it out, the more it's going to affect its whole uh, recovery process, so less stress, faster recovery. Therefore, let's let her be. So an important thing on the to-do list today, look at the dog. I think she's a little tired. So definitely an important thing on the to-do list, thing on the to-do list, <laughs> to-do list. So definitely an important thing on the to-do list today is to uh, order some rats. Hi, I was just calling to make an order to uh, pick up. Sure, what's your name? Joe. Okay, I guess you Joe. I'm gonna need a uh, pack of small pinky mice. Um, two packs of large pinky mice. Uh, one pack of fuzzy mice. Uh, one pack of jumbo mice. Two packs of small rats and one pack of medium rats. No mediums and I may not have smalls. I think the biggest I have, I may have a pack in there, but uh, weed is about as big as I've got for sure, right now. And what time, uh, tomorrow you wanna pick this up? 11 or so. That sounds good, Joe. What's your last name? Uh, Phelan, P-H-E-L-A-N. Okay. Alright, I will see you tomorrow. Alright, thanks man. Thank you. Right, bye. bye bye. Alright, so that's kind of how it goes with uh, rodent breeders. The fact is, the time of year is going to depend what they have available. So right now, they do have a lot of breeders are having babies right now or getting their females up to size to breed. So the fact is that Maybe uh, colubrid breeders are doing more small rats, so that's why they're having trouble keeping up with the demand. Or uh, ball python breeders are also having babies, so they're ramping up, getting a lot of small mice, getting ready for babies to be born. So, uh, or small rats rather. So that's what could be going on, and uh, always got to keep that in mind. They're, they may not always have uh, what you're looking for exactly, but you know, if you order ahead of time, you usually can avoid these problems. If I thought it through more, could have uh, ordered earlier or made sure to wait until they had small rats but quite frankly it's not a big deal uh, I'm not hurting for small rats I'm no I'm not breeding a lot of animals don't have a lot of animals to feed so uh, that works for me I guess I'll pick them up tomorrow at 11 I was I was hoping to, to pick them up today but I forgot that they're gonna need a day to, to get that stuff together and and make sure that they're there and everything so uh, that works for me but what I do have to do in the meantime is get um. I want my breeder corn snake to uh, eat a mouse and I may give one to uh, my jungle carpet uh, python male as well as some other colubrids. <laughs> These three medium rats are going to be for uh, carpet pythons and then my olive pythons. So uh, these carpet pythons, this is a uh, pretty good sized meal for them, but the fact is that I'm only going to feed them a bigger meal uh, probably every three weeks. So bigger meal, less often. Here I have some hopper mice. Uh, unfortunately, I only have two left until I get the other mice uh, from Big Cheese tomorrow. So uh, what I have here, 
is one for my water python and then one for uh, the female palmetto. She's a little bit bigger so she can take these hopper mice. One thing that I really like about the uh, rodents from Big Cheese is the fact that they're all very clearly marked. So this says 50 hopper mice and they're not all uh, frozen together. So sometimes you'll get mice from different breeders to where they're all like put in the package together and then frozen together. So the fact is that when you go to take them out, it's going to be one big block of frozen mice and then you'll end up uh, trying to take them apart and then you'll end up with different body parts and you'll get heads falling off and it's just not good. And then these uh, these bigger packs are even better, you know, they're in, they're in trays and they're all separated. And so clearly I can grab, sometimes you're like looking at stuff, you're like, is that a mouse, is that a rat? Um, I'm not really sure, it could be a uh, weanling rat and a small and a large mouse, so you're like, I don't know, and what you don't want to do with jungle carpet pythons is if you give them a mouse, they tend to stay on mice for some reason, so you'll have to keep on feeding that jungle mice. So definitely just stick with rats, you don't want to make that mistake. seen me uh, tong feed corn snakes and all my other colubrids but for the most part I'm just leaving the mouse in there and closing the tub and walking away there's no reason to tong feed them uh, some of them don't uh, even eat off the tong so I think that's an important distinction to make if you see me tong feeding the colubrids uh, there's probably 90% sure I'm just doing it for the video pythons though are a different story let's get her out of the water bowl See, she's ready to eat. Now the trick is to somehow get this rat in there while holding the camera, while not getting bit. And uh, if she did bite me, that would just be a simple mistake. She would think I was a rat, but I'm sure she won't. <laughs> getting pretty hungry. I do something that's called intermittent fasting, which means that I only eat within an eight hour window. So for the whole rest of the day, I'm not eating. I consume most of my food in only one meal. <laughs>
super pumped to get going and I'll probably eat that food on the road. I'm running a little late. Might not look good to everyone, but I enjoy it. So uh, have a good one. I guess this is gonna be the end of the video and I'm actually gonna shoot an outro for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, if you made it this far, you're on the team.